Good morning, good morning, everyone. What's going on in the news today? Well, it looks like Tina Turner's son, Ike Jr., who is 64 years old, was released from jail after three months during a routine traffic stop. And he was attempting to eat the drugs that he had on him. So according to Radar Online, the adopted son of the late Tina Turner was released from police custody after he was trying to make a desperate move to hide the drugs from authorities by ingesting the drugs. So it was reported by Radar Online that he was stopped for equipment violation, allegedly over a broken head and tail light. And that is what got him in trouble because when the police officer stopped him, they noticed that he was trying to ingest a substance. And upon searching the vehicle, they found 1.7 grams of crack cocaine and 0.7 grams of methamphetamine. So hopefully now that he's out of jail, he had a short stay. But hopefully he can keep himself out of trouble. Reportedly, there was a female passenger in the car who was also arrested alongside Ike Jr. and also charged with drug possession. I don't know if you guys can remember Pee Wee Herman. His real name was Paul Rubens and he passed away. He died from blood cancer, which is also known as leukemia and metastatic lung cancer. Paul Rubens, a.k.a. P. V. Herman, was 70 years old when he died. Rest in peace and condolences to his family. With much anticipation, Bravo made an announcement. I know the fans of Phaedra Park were wondering, when is she going to return to love and hip hop Atlanta? But no, 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 no. She will not be returning to that show. However, Bravo did make an announcement to officially confirm that Phaedra will return to the network, but it will be the show Married to Medicine. So all the Phaedra Parks fans out there, you can catch her this coming season on Married to Medicine. So after the monkey slur that Erica Mano made against Spice, it looks like if some more roles have been cut across the board, they have stopped filming Erica Mano. The new episode of Hush has officially cut her out of the scenes. So it looks like if she's out of two jobs, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and also her role on the show Hush. So Hush is an all black network and on Friday they made that announcement that she was fired from filming future seasons of Hush. It's now been documented that Erica Mena have been making these racial slurs against black people for years, calling black people monkeys, which is considered colorism. She's never been really called out on it before, but now in the wake of the Me Too generation and the consciousness of people not wanting to be called out of their names, this has awakened the beast and the giant in a lot of these shows and the executives for not tolerating such colorism as part of their show and so she has been cut from two shows so it looks like if cardi b and megan the stallion is at it again you guys remember the WAP song well this song is said to be as big as WAP. the name of the song is called Bongo and it broke the internet when it came out with Megan and Cardi B in this sizzling, scissoring pose. So the wait is over. And on Friday, Cardi B as well as Megan treated their fans to a fantastic, unique sound. The song has more of a Brazilian beat. And yes, the video is hot, hot, hot. There's no doubt it's gonna go to number one. So Bongos is the name of Cardi's new song featuring Megan Thee Stallion. Guys, don't forget to hit the like bell before you leave and subscribe if you haven't done so as yet. I'm over now. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.